Hello guys and welcome back to another review. Today we're gonna have a look at the Adidas Ultra 4D. It was uh, released uh, a while back, but I've managed to take a pair and try to show you what exactly happened with this 4D. As you can see, this entire shoe is uh, based on the Ultra Boost uh, 1.0. As you can see them here on the side, you have the exact uh, ex uh, same cage and this uh, heel support. And uh, the top uh, part here, uh, the toe box, uh, we have all the same material like this 1.0 which is a very nice and thick knit. Uh, then we have uh, this pattern, which is different uh, depending on the part of the shoe. So here we have a different pattern than the middle one and also from the back side of the shoe. And the main uh, difference between uh, this and those it's of course this uh, crazy midsole which is uh, an imprint of uh, a 3d sole which uh, they've called it 4d and as you can see it's very flexible if you are trying to push it but uh, we'll see later if it's uh, as good as the Ultra Boost. So uh, this uh, goes for around 180 pounds in UK, which I think it's uh, a lot of money, but considering this uh, 4D midsole, I should say that's a fair price as it's uh, fairly new on the market and hopefully Adidas will uh, put it on more uh, models and try to make it slightly lighter as uh, I feel that it's uh, a bit heavy and I think it's just because this is uh, an actual rubber it's not yet made of uh, Boost or Ultra Boost hopefully they, they can implement this in uh, future models so uh, let's go ahead and uh, put them on and see exactly how uh, different they are than the actual uh, Ultra Boost. Okay guys, so this is how the 40 are looking in my feet. I've uh, followed the instructions from the website where it's saying uh, to take on, uh, one size uh, larger than your usual uh, size and in my cases I have uh, skinny feet uh, I think it's too much I think that uh, half size up uh, it's uh, just uh, enough for people with skinny feet so keep that in mind if uh, if you have a wider feet yeah i guess one uh, one uh, extra size uh, should be better but uh, yeah they uh, they feel quite uh, good they really remind me of the ultra boost 1.0 with this uh, knit here at the front they have like an oreo vibe but to be honest, I think I prefer the other color combination from the Adidas website. Uh, you can see it here in the corner. I think uh, it looks much, much better with that uh, gray instead of this white. Don't get me wrong, they are still uh, nice and I kind of uh, like this uh, 4D. It's not as comfortable as the Boost. 
it still flexes enough but not like the ultra boost i think maybe like around the boost models and as you can see it goes uh, a lot here uh, at the back so you have a longer heel section but rather than that uh, they are comfortable they feel a bit heavy because of this rubber sole but it's uh, it's not that bad and i don't know what exactly happened but i don't feel comfortable with very long laces which these ones they are very very long but i guess you can just change them with uh, smaller ones and uh, yeah this is uh, this is my uh, unboxing and uh, reviewing of the adidas uh, ultra 4d hope you've enjoyed this video don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and uh, i'll see you in my next uh, videos thanks for watching